Ladies and gentlemen, do you believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Do you truly believe in Jesus Christ? Do you absolutely believe that Jesus Christ is our, real, is our reality? Although you do not see him yet, do you believe with every fiber of your being that he is your reality? Because many do not. Many run to Jesus Christ just for comfort, comfort of mind, comfort of mind, comfort of heart, just to get that good feeling. And then they put him aside or you put him aside and then you carry on. You also say that Oh, let's store up our riches for the next generation. Let's leave a legacy for our children. And when you speak of that, you are speaking as if the Lord Jesus Christ is not returning. So the question that I have, I mean, it's in many layers. Do you believe, do you really and truly believe? Do you believe? I'm in the book of Matthew and I'm in verse 13 starting at the very bottom of verse 13. Actually, I'll start at verse 13 in its entirety. When Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I say that I, the son of man am? Let me repeat that. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that you are John the Baptist. Some say Elias. Others say Jeremiah. Or you're one of the prophets. He said unto them, but whom do you say that I am? And Simon answered and said, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples, or he said to his disciples, he told them that they should not tell any man 
that he was Jesus Christ. Do you believe, ladies and gentlemen? Do you truly believe? Or is Jesus Christ just a comfort zone for you? It is very important that you examine yourself. It is very important that you examine and you mull these questions over and over to yourself. And where there is doubt or lack of understanding, I encourage you to get into your prayer closet. I encourage you to seek him that is. Flesh and blood cannot reveal who Jesus Christ is to you. It is the spirit of truth. It is the Holy Spirit. It is Jesus Christ himself because he encompasses all. He fills all the offices and for many this is very difficult for you to see, understand, comprehend. But again, it is the Father, the Spirit of Truth. It is Jesus Christ. He fills the office. He is the one that reveals Jesus Christ is not on trial, ladies and gentlemen. He absolutely is not on trial. When you read from the front of the book to the back of the book, it tells you, it explains to you, it shows you who he is. And once you know who he is, then you will believe. You will believe. Because knowing who he, he is, the spirit of truth will reveal that to you as you go through the word, as you read. And he says who he is in the Bible. But many are leaning on to their own understanding. And so the spirit of truth is, re is encouraging me to come to you tonight with this brief word. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he uses his vessels. And he's not leaving any stones unturned. He's not leaving any opening to say, oh, you should have said this to me. Oh, you did not let me know who you were. He is giving you the opportunity to investigate, to come to him, to talk to him, to ponder to pull yourself away from the cares of life. Lean into him so that he can reveal himself to you. So again, ladies and gentlemen, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you truly believe Do you know who he is? There are many that have, I'm going to say opposing responses. 
but I remind you, Jesus Christ is not on trial. Jesus Christ is not on trial and he does not need your pity. Oh, he died on the cross. There are many that do that. He does not need your pity. Do you know who he is, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know him or is he just a safe space to you for a moment where it, and then you move on and you ignore everything else that is about him, everything else that he says. I will leave it here tonight. And trust that you will mull these questions over to yourself. Do you know who he is? And do you truly believe who he is? Be blessed, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Encourager from the Encouraging Vessel. Until next time, I encourage you to read the word, read the word as in the Bible. It is alive and it is current and everything you need to know is in there for you because it is your instruction manual. Be blessed.